This is Twit. Boy, color me cynical because I'm immediately saying, well, okay, well, what are they planning? They've said they are going to drop support for tracking cookies, for third-party cookies by 2022. Third-party cookies, of course, are the thing that we tell everybody. You know, most browsers except Chrome, you can turn that off. That's the basically tracking cookies. Uh, instead of using those, companies have now turned to other solutions like fingerprinting and all sorts of things. Uh, Google it said that they are going to uh, deprecate third-party cookies. Um, they didn't say what they're going to offer instead. They say third-party cookies and cross-site tracking are a problem starting next month. Uh, they're going to limit insecure cross-site tracking. Uh, cookies that don't include the same site label as first party only and require, they're going to block those and they're going to require cookies labeled for 30 party use to be accessed only over secure HTTP. That makes them more secure and they're going to slowly phase it out over time. Apple and Firefox both let you block tracking cookies. So does Brave, our sponsor. Uh, Microsoft says we're going we're gonna to have some cookie blocking in their new version of Edge that's based on Chromium. Is this a good thing, or is this just kind of an announcement that Google's going to find something worse? I'm puzzled by it. I think it's a good thing. And in fact, privacy advocates like uh, Benedita say, I retract my criticism. Kudos to Google. This is a big deal. Any thoughts, anybody? Sam? Uh, you know, it's it's hard not to be, you know, skeptical or cynical about this. This is their businesses um, ads. It, yeah, you know, it it's going it's it seems like, you know, if they are if Google is going to eliminate third-party cookies, they almost certainly have something that they think is at <laughs> least as good or better yeah, and maybe something that they only they have access to, right? <laughs> right. That would be the and, that would know, be the perfect thing to do is to stop something that everybody can use and only Google can use something even better. Right, you know, it seems like there, there's they've probably figured out some way to do some sort of signals intelligence through Chrome, you know, that and through Android that gives them, you know, at least as good information, um, or else, you know, maybe they've just determined that, you know, with all the other stuff going on with, you know, cutting back on location awareness and things like that, maybe they've decided that, uh, you know, all this targeting and micro targeting just isn't as valuable as it used to be. Well, they don't say that they're not targeting people anymore. Like, they're still doing it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, this is only so good. They're still doing it. I'm still going to be using DuckDuckGo, which is, like, eh, only so great of an experience at times. You know what I but use? You might try Start do Page. Do you know about Start Page? No. And I'm a little worried because they got acquired by an advertising company. But the idea... <laughs> Which, so maybe it's all a moot, but yeah. the idea of start page is they use the Google index. So Google still is the is the gold standard for search, right? Yeah. But what they do is they anonymize it, and then and furthermore, when you do a search startpage.com, you'll get the same results you'd get from Google, but as if you were in incognito mode. And then there is a button next to it to visit this site anonymously, and then they they route you through an anonymizer, kind of like a little bit uh, like a VPN, but not. And, and your IP address isn't invisible to that site. So it lets you visit a site completely anonymously, which I think is really interesting. Start page. I think that's what Apple tries to do in iOS as right. well, right? Right. 